Buenos dias, boys and girls. How is everybody today? Good morning, Methodist. What's happening? Hi, kid. It's good to see you all here this morning. And I'll tell you what's happening. We are continuing to talk about our introduction to the Bible as the Word of God. And one way we're doing that is to sing that song. The B-I-B-L-E song? Well, today it's the Thy Word song. <laughs> As in, thy word is a lamp unto my feet. I think the B-I-B-L-E song is easier. Even if you do have to know how to spell it to sing it. Why? Well, think about it. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. What exactly does that mean? It sounds like poetry. <laughs> you got a problem with poetry? No, I like poems, especially 30 Days Hat September, because it actually tells you something. But thy word is a lamp unto my feet. I'm not exactly sure what that means. And who uses the word unto like that? Good morning unto you. It must be a poem. Oh, come on. It's not that hard to understand. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Let's see. I'll try to formulate a sentence. How about... Um, did you eat salmon for breakfast? <laughs> huh? Well, yeah, I had salmon crispies with milk. Why? Because thy breath is a fume unto this room. <laughs> I'm just trying to be helpful here. But what exactly does it mean? It means that fodder's breath is probably <laughs> among the worst in the entire animal kingdom. I mean the Bible one. Thought the word is a lamp unto my feet one, and a light unto my path. Ah, oh, it's from Psalm 119. A song. I knew it was poetry. It is, and it's poetry that does tell you something. Here, I'll show you. Show us how. With words, now listen. Once, a friend of mine back in the jungles of Bolivia, a white-lipped peccary, that's a wild pig with white lips. <laughs> he was turning 13 and was having a party. A party? What kind of a party? It was a birthday party, and there were party favors and presents. His parents got him a copy of Tom Sawyer since he was a big Mark Twain fan, and, and, and party games, and then a big termite pie instead of a birthday cake. Party favors? What kind of party favors? That's what I was about to tell you. Everyone there got a little New Testament. You know, a little Bible like the Gideons are passing out this week on campus? Cool. Yeah, but get this. They were glow-in-the-dark Bibles. At least the covers were. Bowing. Wow. <laughs> His parents were very religious. And it was a good thing, as it turned out, because Gregory, you see. Gregory? My friend. Gregory Peck. <laughs> anyway, he wanted to go outside and play Tom Sawyer in this cave he found nearby. So we all went out, even though it was getting dark, and he went into this cave first to hide, and we were going to go in and look for him. But when we peeked in, we were all too scared to go into that black hole. So we just called from the entrance. Greg, Gregory, but Gregory didn't come out. And we called and we called, but evidently he got lost there in the dark and everyone was really scared. So what did you do? Well, as you might have already guessed, I brought the party favors with me, <laughs> thinking we could test them out there in the dark. So I took the whole bag of Bibles and I went into the cave and put one down 
And then I walked in until I could just barely see it. And then another and another until they were all gone, calling the whole time. And then I turned around and followed that glowing trail back out. And we waited. What happened? Finally. What? We heard something. What? Gregory, singing. Singing? Singing. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. He was singing and doing, following that trail of Bibles out of that cave and back to safety and into our open arms. And that's exactly what that song is about for Gregory and for us. When we're lost or need guidance or direction, the Bible shows the way. Both the glow in the dark kinds and especially the glow in your heart kinds. I see. Thanks, Barnabas. And thanks, God, for your word, which is a lamp unto our feet and our lives. Amen. 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 And now, Amen. is this going to be another?